Hey, good morning, everybody. Mark Bazinski here again, and I uh, know it's been a while. It's uh, been a, probably over a week since I've last uh, put a video out, and I apologize for that. Sometimes uh, life gets in front of us, and we've got to take care of it so that uh, we can continue to progress, right? So I know everybody, it, it happens to the best of us, um, so no judgment here, especially on my part because uh, I'm, sometimes I'm in and out, not sure uh, where I'm at some days and not sure where I'm going on other days. So um, it, was, it was a very difficult week over the past couple of weeks. Well, I wouldn't say a couple of weeks, but we had the snowstorm last week, first uh, part of the week, and then I had another one on Thursday. Then I had plant issues. Uh, process issues and uh, it let, one thing led to another which uh, continued those uh, process issues to um, exacerbate the problem which man a customer that uh, we provide product to via pipeline they were not happy at all I mean the first part of it was our fault wasn't our fault was not our fault because big snowstorm something happened to the power from the power company and they were we got shut down but the things that happened subsequently after that was mostly our fault equipment failures not our fault how we deal with those our fault not much we can do about it except for make sure that those things don't happen again. Learn from those mistakes and then move on. And uh, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of creating work for the sake of creating work, um, but sometimes you have to put things in place to help other people realize that uh, the things that you want them to, to look at the things that you want them to monitor are the most important things, right? So sometimes you have to create those tools, put them in place so that once they start getting used to doing that particular item or particular task on a regular basis, it, now it becomes habit. It's just like uh, for in my process, one of the things that happens on a regular basis is calibrating analyzers, okay? The analyzer is what tells me or the process technicians what is going on with the process. If they're not calibrated properly, then it could be lying to you. So it has become inherent that those things, those tasks occur on a regular basis. And for FDA purposes and quality assurance purposes, it's a requirement. So we ingrain that into, into our normal day, our normal week tasks, and nobody needs to be told that has to be done on this particular time or day. So and that goes f with certain other things. You want somebody to focus on something, you give them something to focus on, and tell them, without a shadow of a doubt, um, regardless of what you do throughout your day, at this time, you need to do this. And then it becomes ingrained in them. You create that habit. And uh, once they've got that habit in them, it makes it very difficult for them to not do it. Trying to tell them to not do something that they have been doing on a regular basis with like clockwork it makes it hard for them to comprehend what is going on. So, where I was going with that is creating work for the sake of work, but, and it's not something that I generally like doing, but sometimes you have to put those tools, tools in place for those type of people who don't know what to do with themselves, they come to work, they do their thing, but, and they do the certain tasks religiously, 
that they know they have to do. Now, what happens in between tasks, the gaps between what they know they have to do, say at 10 o'clock, and then they know that at 11 o'clock, they've got something else to do. Um, and the first task only takes them 15 minutes to do. So there's 45 minutes of time that they have no idea what to do, what, what they're supposed to be carrying on. They may be able to figure it out for themselves, but more than likely, it's about them just sitting around, waiting until that next task is due to be done. So what I do is fill that time up with other tasks that I feel that are important to maintain my process. So you may think that's creating work for the sake of creating work, but I look at things differently than everybody else. They are, uh, they are, uh, I can walk into a process, into a room, into a, to an area, and I can pick out 10 different things that needs to be done right then and there. And then the, another person, another, somebody else may walk in there and look at the same area, look at the same process and see absolutely nothing to do. I mean, they could probably figure something out but more than likely, they're looking at it and like, well, I don't see a problem here. Until you start pointing those things out to them, they have no idea what is going on. Now, I think that's what sets me aside from so many other people. Um, so many successful people who are moving upwards or entrepreneurs, they see all of this stuff that has got to get done and but they know for themselves they can't do it by themselves which is why they hire people uh, same thing in a process or in a company you've got a manager you've got an executive you've got a general manager you've got a president you got the owner and everybody down below them on each different level they all know inherently what their role is within that organization the lower you get down on that totem pole, so to speak, it makes it it's more difficult for those people down at the bottom to see the big picture. The owner at the very top, he's like, I can see everything and all these things need to be done. Then you he appoints somebody else who has got that same vision or that same um capacity to look at everything and but he may be missing one or two things that are out there and that's why the owner is like well don't forget about this and don't forget about this over here and then as you continue to go down those different levels that's the reason why you have these these different levels within an organization because people see things differently for what it is that they're trying uh, to accomplish on a regular basis. The guy down at the very bottom, his job was to sweep the floor. So that's what he does, he sweeps the floor. So I've got this guy coming up on me.